Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of season 2 of Love Live Michisaki School Idol Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Does she have a bag on her head? Yes, yeah, she does. I mean, damn, you think she would tell her, at least her family, but uh, of course, like, you want to, you know, coax her into telling her when. They are. Okay, if you think so. Oh, excuse me, sorry. student teacher oh yeah I forgot Yes, I feel like you two are going to be the best of friends.
No. <laughs> yeah. Mia gives me hella jolted all vibes from JoJo and I love it! You know who she sounds like? And if it is her, you know, it, it would make the most sense. Um, oh my god, because she plays so many freaking different characters. Yeah, that literally sounds like her. I, I, I don't remember her name, but, like, her biggest roles, of course, like, if you if you played Bang Dream, she plays Tomoe, um, aka Akko's sister, and they, if that is her, then it makes the most sense. So she's probably just gonna be in here for the anime and not for the game, because who knows? No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm about to leave and make that nice transformation. Yeah, don't forget to take your glasses off, though. Oh, she about to find out. Oh, shit. You can drop the act. What time? What's wrong? Mm. So you can only pick a certain amount of groups now. Damn. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, but you don't have to have all that weight on your shoulders by yourself. Mm-hmm. You can't always do it on your own. Yes, listen to your one of your two girlfriends. Or really one of your, all your nine girlfriends, because all y'all girlfriends with each other, you know, it, it's straight up. Oh, Satsuna. Of course, there's always a way. Jesus. The fact that you guys can't really come to an understanding right now. There can't be, like, you know, a big stadium or somewhere you can have it. It just got colder in here. Okay. That's a good idea. So that's enough time. Damn, see, once again, I love the fact that characters who were featured in School Idol Festival, the freaking game, are getting featured in this show because they're like, they're getting a second chance at life. And some of them are voiced, and that's good. Like, oh my god. You look like pretty. It's her, you know, her characteristic, you know, her tuny boyo. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you going to tell your parents? I wonder how that went.
That's a pretty car. Oh, I like See, this is just going to make me, in the end, just like a week one, download this game again. Try again on this game, even though the one thing I hate, 500 gems to do a pool. That's a lot of gems. And then they, you know, if you want to buy something, it's expensive. They want 80 bucks for something. I'm like... I like the fact that with theirs, we, we got to see more. I mean, because you, technically, you ain't see that with the other two groups. But the, <laughs> This was a good episode. I mean, in a way, it kind of went by a little fast. But you know what? Hey, I'm okay with that. But now that, you know, everybody has gotten into their subgroups and stuff, I feel like there's only really two more people that need to perform. Mia is one of them. And the other girl who was on the student council president with Satsuna, um, they also need to perform because, of course, they're all a part of it and such. I, like, cause, like I said, it's been a while since I played the game. And the last time I played was when the girl with the green hair and the little bow in her hair she was joining the group. She got her first outfit and such. So I'm guessing, you know, Landru, Mia, and everyone else has already gotten their outfits. And, you know, of course, songs. I've already, you know, I think also at the same time, the Queendom song also came out as well. I think that was the last time I heard about it too because, of course, the Japanese um, server of the game is like a year and a couple of months ahead of the English server game. So, which sucks because... Let me tell you, no matter what, when you play Love Live, our freaking Bang Dream, our freaking D4DJ-ish, anything that has two different servers, and when you're playing both servers, and you save it for certain cards, like, oh, don't get me started, because when it was Rosalia Brides last year on JP, I was like, I got to save for these on EN, and the rerun for that is coming soon, and I'm not ready for it. I have no gems. I have gems, but I don't have enough. <laughs> it's always a little sister, you know, slowly but surely. Like, yes, it is time for you to realize your dream of what you want to do. Like, of course. Like, oh my god. Because you know Tomoe was, you know, over there coaching Akko and, you know, Akko over here playing the drums and this and then she finally was like, you know, you can decide. <laughs> oh my god. My Brazilian baby still love so much. But like, yeah. I mean, once again, this episode went by quick. But I ain't mad at it. It was really good. I love the fact that she finally <sighs> told her mom about her other life because it is like ever since the beginning of this series Asuna has always or really Nana has always lived this double life and so you know something told me like I think we were at the halfway point of season one where I was thinking like towards the future of this series and especially if they got like a movie like is she I, I kept thinking like is she gonna keep this facade up until like the movie and then when the movie comes that's when she's gonna be like hey you know what I'm also Satsuna Yuki as well um, but I love the fact that they finally addressed this because it was one of those that 
at the, it didn't need to but kind of be addressed, but at the same time it did because, I mean, it would have kept being weird if I being like, you know, you know, why is a student council president always leaving every single time to go somewhere? You know, she got a proper, another engagement. What do you think she's doing? And, you know, people probably would have made up some rumors about her, but I thank God that she finally was able to share both of her worlds with everybody. And I, I'm guessing because the biggest thing is she was afraid of what everyone was going to be and poss- uh, think about and not support her. But everyone, you know, supported her in the end. I mean, how <laughs> her members cried over her. I mean, I did the same thing. It's like, that's what you do when you really support the crap out of someone. You want to support them and their love, their hopes and dreams and wishes and everything else and stuff. And I love that. Like, uh, I'm just happy for her and the rest of the girls. But yes, I need Mia and her to perform. It's coming. If it's not in episode seven, it, it at least needs to be before this show is, is done. We're on week seven by next week, and I'm, th- I'm guessing the show is going to have, like, 12 or 13 episodes like the previous season. So hopefully we get to see it soon. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode six of season two of Love Live, Nichigasaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode seven. Bye, guys.